All right, he stars opposite Gwyneth Paltrow in this new movie called Shallow Hell. was a big hit on The Millionaire Show recently. Here's a very funny guy, Jack Black. <laughs> Mr. Black, how are you, sir? Very Kelly well, Ripper? Thank you. Great nice to meet you. Here. Thank you. Yeah, we had Gwyneth here yesterday. Boy, she's a beauty, huh? She sure is, What yeah. a leading lady you had, huh? Yeah, must say. Oh. Didn't deserve her. Didn't deserve no, her. No, no. <laughs> Did you get nervous working with her? Uh, a little bit at first, but she was, you know, she was really cool and made me feel comfortable. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. You were comfortable on The Millionaire Show, too, weren't you? We had some fun. Yeah, that was fun. I was, I made, made some good money. I took a lot of your money. I'm sorry. $125,000. That's terrific. Yeah. Well, what, uh, what's, uh... The Jack... United Mitochondrial Disease Foundation. Right. Now, listen to this. He had a chance to win 250000 uh... Had a photo friend. Mm -hmm. Had a photo friend list. Mm -hmm. His mother was on the list. Mm -hmm. Got hung up on a question. Called his mother. Who else are you going to trust in this world yeah. if you can't trust your mother? She was right, too. She had the right instinct, and I didn't listen. I didn't listen! <laughs> I could have had a quarter mil. So she knew You turned your mother down. Did she mm -hmm. get angry with you? Well, she didn't sound totally sure. But she's well, your you mother! Were, no, no. I know, but what if no. she was wrong? She would have right. been, you know... No, you were right I to walk to, away because yeah. remember Ben Stiller listened to Anne and she gave him that, that gourd, that sponge, what is this loofah made yeah, out of? Yeah. And he, he was So even your mother can be wrong, you know, right. she doesn't mean to be, but right. so anyway, what kind of a smart. kid were you at home growing up? Um, you know, I was uh I was kind of creative, I guess. I need a lot of attention and I wanted to be special. <laughs> and, um, special kid, yeah. Yeah, I remember I used to uh I used to love the Bionic Man, Six Million Dollar Man. Sure. It's my favorite show, and I, I actually, for a while, I, I put, like, circuitry and wires up my sleeve <laughs> when I went to school, and just have them peeking out a little bit, and then if someone said, what are those wires? Nothing. Nothing now. Because <laughs> I wanted people to think I was yeah. Bionic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you run in slow motion with the noise, like, na 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 No. But, yeah, I did think maybe I could be the fastest runner. Right. And then, I, yeah, later I found out I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> but you're a pretty good actor. We're going to talk Thank about that in the sir. moment. We'll continue with Jack, your black. Yeah. You know, there's an interesting uh, thing here that's happened. In your biography, it says that uh, you met Anthony Robbins, you know. Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins. Tony right. Robbins. Does he, he go by Anthony now? He wants to be called Anthony, but hey. <laughs> it's like it's Ricky Schroeder went to Rick. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's like a, they're moving to the next level. <laughs> but you met him and he had an influence on you. Yes. And then Tim Robbins got yes. you started in acting. So Robbins is a I know. What is this recurring Robbins? Robbins <laughs> everywhere I go. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah. Tim Robbins, I actually really <clears throat> owe my career to. He gave me my first part in uh, Bob Roberts. Right. Uh, Anthony Robbins was a very nice guy, but... Uh, you met him in an elevator. Yeah. One of well, those... the, the character, you know. I only really... I didn't really hang out with him. No, we didn't, no. We didn't party or anything. But, but it was a quick ride, but enough to, uh, to become an influence on you, right? That's right. In yeah. the, the, yes, my character and uh, Anthony Robbins get trapped in an elevator. See, let me set this up a little bit. Yeah, my character is how. super shallow. Yeah. And he, he's kind of on a quest to find the perfect woman. And right. it's just all about physical <clears throat> appearance and beauty. And then, um, yeah, he gets trapped in the elevator with Tony Robbins, and he's like, uh, yeah, what's your deal? Why are you so shallow? Let me do a favor for you. And he kind of hypnotizes me and uh, makes me see the inner beauty in uh -huh. people. And it changes my whole world. And then, and then I meet Gwyneth Paltrow. And you see the, her for what she really is, her inner beauty. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I see Gwyneth Paltrow, and when in reality she's, you know, much different than what she appears right. physically. Right. All right, good. But here's the scene he was talking about. Here he is meeting uh, Anthony Robbins in the, in the elevator, who's going to help him cure him of his shallowness. Hey, listen, I know you got a great heart. You're just a little fixated on the outside appearances of people. So, Hal Larson, I'm going to do you a great favor. Really? Yeah. Listen, this is how it'll work. From this moment on, whenever you meet someone in the future, you're only going to see what's inside them. All right, buddy, let's get up and I'll show you what to do. Yeah. Now, you got a pattern. You got a pattern of looking at women and judging them by the exterior. We can't uh -huh. talk about it. We got to break that pattern. All right. So I want you to ask you, has there been a time when you were, like, especially shallow, where you looked at a woman and just thought you were better than she was? All or... the time. 
all the time. Oh, yeah. Can you uh, think of one specific time where you're really shallow? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I got one. I got one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Devils, come out! <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a new technique. Yeah. Say hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it opens on, on Friday. You nervous about this? Excited? It's going to be great. It's going to be a big hit. Jello House, Friday. Jack Black right here. Superdog next.